Hello. We are so glad that you could come and visit us during the holiday season. Uh, you are presently in our entryway, and what you're seeing is a door that was taken from a home in New Brighton. Actually, they were throwing it away, and we took that door and stripped it, and now it's repurposed as a decoration. Uh, to the, the right, you're seeing a tree that is decorated with all bubble lights and, of course, tin ornaments. Uh, those tin ornaments were something that were once popular back when Boscov's first opened. As you look at the entry table, we have displayed on it a few Steinbach uh, smokers and nutcrackers, which we have collected over time. And of course, as I said, a few. To the right of the table, we have another interesting tree. The pencil tree is decorated with all glass ornaments. And these glass ornaments, each one of them contains ash from the eruption of Mount St. Helen. We, over time, collected those, one every month, and now they bring us much happiness as we look at this tree. As we turn to the right, you will see a table that has an advent calendar, which my granddaughter opens each day and has a lot of fun doing. To the right of it is another interesting little tree. This tree is decorated in glass light bulbs from the 40s. Some of you may remember that back in that time, 40s and 50s, you just didn't have a light bulb. You had a light bulb that looked like something. It could be a house. It could be a Santa Claus. It could be a snowman. Let us go ahead now and move into the dining room and see what Chris has done there as far as decorating for the Christmas season. In our dining room, on the top of the cupboard, you will see a tree that is strictly uh, decorated with uh, old ornaments of the past. Uh, maybe not as old as some of you may think, but they do go back to the time when Kaufman's was uh, located in Rochester and as a young couple we would buy a few ornaments every year. If you're wondering about the knight and lady, I consider that to be myself and Chris. As We move around the room. Our small buffet is decorated with a small tree of, again, ornaments from the past. These, again, not being very old, but they would come from the time when Boskov's first opened and was selling European ornaments. The music box in the center plays various Christmas tunes, which we enjoy while having dinner. As we move to the next tree, this is a tree that my granddaughter sets up and decorates for us. She and I have put together the tree and the 
houses that are underneath. And of course, the biggest kick for her is to enjoy the running of the train, which of course can drive you nuts. As we proceed around the room, of course, you can see the uh, beavers from Beaver are all decorated with their little uh, ornamentations on their head. Proceeding around the room, our buffet is decorated with a few small trees which then leads us to the pencil tree on the end, which is decorated in silver bells. Uh, those silver bells we have acquired over time. They had been gifts on a regular basis each Christmas from Christine's parents, and the majority of them have come from one of your local jewelers here, Allen Jewelers. Well, let's move down to the living room now and see the decorations that we have put up. At the buffet, it's a simple arrangement of trees that we enjoy doing at Artsy Doodle, the uh, craft studio. And then, of course, next to it on the right is the manger. This manger happens to be the one that I grew up with. So it does have a sentimental uh, feelings. As we move around and approach the mantle decorations. You will see that the mantle is decorated with a number of houses. Those houses happen to be houses that were once sold in the five and tens around the valley, made in Japan, and sold for maybe 29 cents. Standing to the entrance to our sunroom, of course, is jolly old St. Nicholas. This dummy board uh, is probably about 50 years old. It would have been cut from wood stock and then hand painted. Our living room tree is decorated with numerous ornaments that we have seen, liked, and of course purchased. Some of those are from Poland. They are polonaise, like the angel that you're presently looking at. There are also some ornaments on there that are reverse painting, like the one we're coming up on now. Those were made in China. And like I said, they are reverse painting. The paint is on the inside of the glass. 
and as we come down the tree, we will also see a, an ornament that is all wax. We actually have two of those. Those go way back. Those were purchased uh, many years ago from a store we had in town here, J.T. Anderson's. But we've always tried to pick ornaments that were different and had particular meaning. 